Pam. And this is not a spray chicken day. We're going to be talking about. We're going to be doing something that has never been done before. We're going to honor all of those newly made millionaires. Ooh, who are you talking about? Well, on this 4th of July, the President of the United States has deemed every small business in this country millionaires. Wait a minute, every small business? Every small business in your country. I mean, your, your parents were small businessmen, right? Mm hmm. Didn't they, they had more than a, they had a quarter of a million dollars worth of inventory in their store, didn't they? Yep. You lived in a nice home. Yep. And that automatically qualifies you, according to our president, Barack Obama, as a new, as a millionaire. So you're, mm -hmm. I mean, your father never knew that he was a millionaire, did he? It never came up. Never come up? I mean, no, we never talked. We were, he was always busy working. I know. I mean, all those times when I was young. I suppose. And we were eating hot dogs and beans because we couldn't afford things because my father was in the acting business of, of reserve police officer and built homes. Mm -hmm. We never had any idea until President Obama came around that we were actually millionaires. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... I mean I mean, we have, we we had a quarter of a million dollars worth of inventory at any one time during any year that I was ever young. Mm. And I'm a millionaire, and I don't even work. Ooh, how's that? Um, because I own a I own a place that I can't live in because it's burnt. That's in California is worth like, what's it? What, you know, in California the ground has got to be worth millions. Ah, well, you know how that happens. Of course, you can't sell it for anything. No. It doesn't make any difference. But we'll even, try and tax you on it. Even though I'm old and retired. Just think of all of the... Re okay, we're going to put it this way. According to the President of the United States, if you're old like I am, you're retired like I am, and if you're getting government stuff, which I don't get, you uh, you know your benefits are worth more than a quarter of a million dollars a year. So what does that make... Uh, what does that make an individual my age eating dog food a millionaire makes you a millionaire isn't that something yeah but that's really good dog treats for monty well, I know. those are made with well, real I know. salmon i wouldn't be allowed to eat those dog treats i mean you basically it'd be like that you go and get the 25 cent can of stuff because but see now because of the thanks to the president of the united states you're going to get to go get that 30 cent can of dog food because you know that now you're a millionaire yeah. Are you just being sarcastic? Would I be sarcastic? You know, okay, we'll put it this way. Everybody, including the comics on the left, are saying this is the most moronic. The guy says stupid things. Well, what happens is he got off of his teleprompter. And That's his, always the first clue. <clears throat> when he gets off his teleprompter, he, all of you millionaires and billionaires out there, and where do you start a million dollars? Anybody that makes $250,000 or a family makes $250,000, or you have a yearly wealth of 250000 That includes inventory, which is basically every small business and every farm in the country. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. In honor of the 4th of July, the President of the United States is preparing to uh, shut your farms down for you so you won't have to worry about it. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about? Uh, he's going to, you're going to have to uh, unionize your business. You're not going to be able to uh, uh, truck your wait, merchandise. Wait a minute, because in some of those people, they're immigrants. They're illegal aliens or uninvited guests. Well, they don't have to do that, though. In, on, Are they unionizing? It's, 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 only, no, it's only for actual citizens of our country. If you're not a citizen, you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. Which means you're going to hire more illegal aliens or uninvited guests. Well, they won't hire any of them because they're not going to any money because you have to, they're going to have to uh, ship all of their products with union trucks. Mm. That's going to cost them money they can't afford, which means they can't drive their own truck anymore. See, part of it is, is people think that it only affects those people and you're going to get the money from those people. But what happens is if it affects the cost of food, guess what that means? So already the cost of food is going up. It right? means it's going to cost you more to eat. Yeah, but remember the President of the United States does not consider there's any inflation. Because you've lost so much money on your houses that it negates the fact that there being inflation, of course, he doesn't go to the grocery store and try to buy a gallon of milk. He doesn't go to the grocery store and buy um, any of that hamburger that he likes to eat at the fast food restaurants, of which he doesn't like his wife knowing that he goes over there, but he does on national television continually. Well, wouldn't she know that? 
Well, his wife doesn't watch television, I assume. That's what I've been told. She doesn't watch TV because it's not good. There, there's nothing good on television for any, for a, um, let's put it this way. It has nothing to do with the big R word. But most television is, is R rated. Really? Well, do you see Bill Cosby on the air? No. Do you see a lot of black comedians with their with network tel programming where they're a the star and in their well, you know, they have all those late night comedian shows and they uh, talk no, trash. But that's not that's that's because that's 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 that's, that's you know, they're basically white guys are responsible for those our shows, so and but no, but um the Obama administration has proudly announced that there will be new food there will be new food handling requirements by all farmers. There'll be hazardous waste things required to be placed all over their farms. They're not going to be able to use the uh, pesticides or the, uh, or the fertilizers they've been using, and they're all going to have to go to organic stuff, which doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So with this thing, on the 4th of July, all of these things are happening for the people of the United States. That doesn't sound like a good celebration. Well, it is if you're a socialist. Oh. You know, the, the, the 4th of July will be known in the United States as the, as the second May Day because the president has decided to punish so many people on the 4th of July. You're bad. Oh, no, I mean, okay. Uh, the, here's the problem is, is that an incompetent president is going to be followed by an even more incompetent president. No, that's the problem. Because, I mean, uh, okay, we throw out, first of all, you got to toss out Michelle Malcolm and Sarah Palin because the only way... Michelle reason, Malcolm. Michelle, uh, you know, M Malcolm. Uh, Bachman. Bachman. No, that's Michelle Bachman. Yeah, actually, I have Michelle Malcolm is the other one. Mm -hmm. There's a Michelle Malcolm, Michelle Bachman. You can throw out Bachman and Palin because the Republican men are never going to allow them to get the nomination. They were pissed off about Palin getting a VP nomination. Every Republican pundit condemned Palin. You know, what they did when they condemned her, it then became open season. So, but, mm -hmm. um, so what you're going to end up with, some, you're going to end up with somebody uh, like, okay, Mitt Romney basically uh, is just an a, you know, a, a older version of Obama. He believes in socialized everything also. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's pro-union. He, well, he's at, he's pro uh, he's pro gay rights he's pro you know they said that if you elect Romney you're just electing a Democrat from Massachusetts who did have health care yeah you know, but um, uh, and, he know, and he knows all the things that didn't work the first time yeah but he's not he won't even admit they didn't work oh. he won't but everybody in Massachusetts loves the system no they don't because they're now paying like four or five times more than they were before. So to pay for the I mean, the premiums that were never going to go up in your lifetime, I think, go up every year. Mm -hmm. They said, "What well, are those damn insurance companies?" No. Then what happens is is that the um, the they okay the same thing. We'll blame it on Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly condemns the insurance company. Bill O'Reilly condemns the oil company. Bill O'Reilly condemns all big business because he has a grudge against they they basically mistreated his his father. I think it was. But so he condemns them. Um, they're all owned by the people, mm -hmm. all of them. Not some guy living in some mansion. You know, like the okay, the, 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 there's not some person living in Aaron Spelling's 150 million dollar home that owns the oil companies. It's Bill O'Reilly's mommy and daddy. It's Bill O'Reilly's grandparents. It's your grandparents. It's, it's your grandparents. Your parents. It's your school teacher. Or, or it's you. your fireman. It's your police officer. It's your grandkids. You know, uh, it's endowment funds. It's uh, mutual funds. Those things that hedge managers control that Obama hates so much. They own the oil companies. Not rich guys don't own. Some Arab sheep does not own, you know, uh, Briti does not own British Petroleum people of Great Britain own British Petroleum. Mm -hmm. A lot of rich people have a lot of stock because they invested, but uh, most of them don't even know what they own. There's there no oil barons today in the United States. Mm -hmm. None. I mean, you just look at the fact, I mean, uh, you know, they, they, old people clip. Uh, I can remember when I was young, my grandmother uh, would clip the coupons that she had from uh, Standard Oil. 
she'd click the coupon, go down and get money. That's how it's done, you know. And if the oil wasn't selling, you know. And I remember my grandfather would bitch, damn oil is ten cents a gallon. It was eight cents a gallon last week, and she said, yeah, but. You know, we offset it by the fact that we own X amount of shares. We said, damn, oil isn't going high enough. So, <laughs> yeah, see, that's how it works. But, um, you know, we're, we're just doing the 4th of July celebration of all of the, you know, all the great things that are happening in our country at the moment. <laughs> You've got health care that you don't want. You have regulations on businesses you don't want. You have a president that doesn't think he, that even, comprehend that he's done anything wrong. You have a Congress basically, you know, we'll cut spending after we do the budget first. Then we'll cut spending. Uh, yeah. You no, know, and you know, well, we're living in a state where uh, it's all a big fabrication. They're bluffing. They would never leave the state if we raised taxes on them for this holiday. Yeah, right. They did. So will all the other businesses taxes goes because uh, you know, so it's just, uh, it's okay. At the poll, they did a 4th of July poll. Yeah. Uh, are you are you more pessimistic or more grateful on this 4th of July than you were the last 4th of July? It's the, it's the worst pessimistic poll ever taken. Oh, really? The worst. They said the country is on the worst track, was worse than what it was under Jimmy Carter. Because they're... Uh, and and that's when gas, well, that's when you had all those gas lines. Well, remember, the gas is actually... About, it's, actually, it's actually higher now than it was then. Right. And the trick is, is that more the, the people are not driving. The, you, we, you, we went out yesterday. There's nobody in shopping malls because. Yeah, I was really surprised at how. Nobody probably. has any money, and it, it, you don't have any money. Why? Because your money is going to pay for the higher cost of gas, which we shouldn't have to be doing. Uh, gas. And the higher cost of food. The higher cost of food, the higher cost of clothes, the higher cost of every regulations. I mean, and they said, well, if these people would just put that money out that they have stuck in, you know, stuck away, well, it's stuck away because they know what else is coming. So it's a, it's really a miserable Fourth of July. It's one of the worst. I mean, if my father was alive, he'd really be unhappy with. It. This is what I was watching. Last night, a thing uh, because they're doing like patriotic things on the um, history. Uh, not the oh, they history, are on the on the on the military channel. Well, that's nice. And they, had, uh, they had they uh, had actually had like the uh, one, one of the okay. Here's one. The guy that did which is funny was the man that Marion C. Cooper, who did King Kong and a whole bunch of other. He created created Cinerama. You know, why you have the big screens today, IMAX, because of him. He was one of the flying tigers during mm -hmm. World War II. He was a colonel with them. And he was talking, one of his great grandchildren was talking about his, his, his great grandfather would be a, uh, just, he, he wouldn't know this country if he was alive in it today because he was, you know, he, he produced all these, these patriotic John Wayne movies in the late 40s, early 50s. Did The Quiet Man also. Mm -hmm. uh, did, he did these great things showing America as America. You know, it was Cinerama because that was his idea. Cinerama was to show the world the United States. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, they said that he, Marion C. Cooper wouldn't know the country if he saw it today because he said that, you know, it, 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 his father, his really great grandfather wasn't against abortion because he understands his great grandfather was a happy man. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> he was a Hollywood producer too. So, and he said he believed in never, you know. He said he didn't care if people were gay as long as they didn't force them. He didn't care what anybody was as long as they didn't force their their viewpoints on him. So, uh, but today, by law, by by law passed by Congress, is uh, political viewpoints are being forced on you, religious viewpoints, lifestyle choices. And they said the people like he also said that John Wayne and John Ford would not have understood this country. Our left wing liberals. Like Henry Fonda would not have understood this country. Jane Fonda doesn't even understand. Jane Fonda coming, okay, uh, a revelation that um, um, John Lennon admired what uh, Ronald Reagan was doing for the United States. Really? And figured out and said, I think they said he said that you know, it took me until you know the later part of my life to realize how wrong I was about everything. So what's happened, but the trick is, is you um, okay, 
they'll, they'll bounce, the gay rights movement is going to get bounced backwards. It, it loses in every single election they have if the election is loud. So that's the one genie that is out of the bottle that will get put back in the bottle. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to you're not going to put the other things back in the bottle that have been done. Look in Europe. <clears throat> in honor of the fourth, they're basically burning our flags, burning our embassies. Are they really over there? All over the world, they're doing it in honor of our fourth of July. Guess so, you pissed off a few countries. Oh yeah. I we, say people, but countries. Our country has never been more disliked than as it is under the president that understands how to deal with those people. You mean the president that got a Nobel Peace Prize? The Nobel Peace Prize has pissed off the world. I mean, he's, he's fighting in three countries right now. That, actually, they said he's fighting in three, uh, fighting in three that everyone knows about. <laughs>